K-I-L-R Taylor Games Trekkies, Trekkers, sci-fi enthusiasts, I am the Killer Gamer. Welcome back to Star Trek Online with our free account, Mr. Quandock, our Benzite here, with our free Tier 6 ship that we earned during the uh, anniversary, the Star Trek Online anniversary. And we're about ready to get some more free equipment that we can actually put onto this uh, ship, which will be really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Okay, so what we got here, we go in here. Here's the event that we have here. It's called the widening, uh, the widening, the widening gyre. And there is a task force here called Synthwave. And this is uh, taken from the show Star Trek Picard, where there were uh, synthetics that attacked uh, Mars Colony and the, uh, the shipyards uh, that are there. So that's what this is. You have to do it uh, for 20 days. Uh, we've done 19, so we're on number 20. And you get this right here. So we take a look at this. You get this uh, set here, the Imperial Rift Space Set. So you get all these nice little things here. Uh, singularity Core, Warp Core, Deflector Array, Combat Impulse Engine, and a Covariant Shield Array. And then you get, uh, for having those, you get all these different sets. So since you have uh, four set pieces, uh, you'll be able to do increased damage, increased duration of a rift, rift may spawn, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so you get all this uh, fantastic stuff that you'll be able to put on your ship in these areas here. So you can get rid of all this junk that you got here and uh, put in some nice <laughs> some nice stuff that you can level up with. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, do the last... Uh, oh, and by the way, since I've been working on this for the past 19 days, you may notice that we have a jump in, uh, <laughs> in levels uh, from where I left off I'm now at 22 and I'm about ready to get to level 23 so yeah we had quite a bit of a jump in levels there and there's a lot of stuff that we uh, have to go over and that just happens um, especially when you got events like this so we're gonna go ahead and click join TFO task force captains it is with solemn purpose that we ask you to partake in this simulation History is often a teacher. It lets us analyze our mistakes and our triumphs. Indeed, the lessons of history can help us to better ourselves. To this end, you will be taught the tragedy of the synth attack on Mars in 2385. The synth are compromising the defense network. Engineers are stranded on the surface and need to be transported to safety. Rescued engineers can be beamed to transport vessels. Transports will rendezvous back at the orbital habitat to load additional refugees for evacuation. Engineers can also be transported to mothballed starships. Once there, they can activate those vessels to assist in the fight. Once resisting the synth advance is no longer tenable, you will defend the transport vessels as they make their way to the navigational beacons and warp out of the combat area. All right. The synth are turning the defense net against targets on Mars. 
So you can see we've got room for three people here. There's a couple of battleships here that we can load up once we get the people. And the battleships, they will uh, turn and fight the uh, synthetics. But you can see Mars getting attacked just like it was in Star Trek Picard. Let's go load this sucker up. So he's right up there. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is that, um, uh, that Mars song from the uh, the Planets album. It's just done in MIDI form. Do you see uh, how he's attacking now? Uh, I think it's Mars, the bringer of war. That's the name of the uh, song. Ah, they found this. Let's get over here to this other battleship. It'll keep track of the transports that we activated, battleships and cruisers. And how many were lost. Let's get busy. Let's go pick up some more here. And then there's a safe zone and that it just shrinks um, every two or three minutes. And that the time is right there. And plus the narrator will come on and tell you as well that it's about to shrink. Which is where that lot, lot yellow line is at there. The cruisers only only need two people. So he's taken off and He'll go and attack the sense too. Uh, look out! <laughs> Don't hit us. The outer perimeter is lost. Fall back and rescue as many people as you can. 
there's a frigate back here. That only takes one, but it will go and attack uh, the Synths too. The only ones that don't are the transports. There's another cruiser. There's a couple of them right over there. Let's get that one loaded up. You can see so far we lost seven transports, we lost two battleships, we lost two cruisers. That synth, those synth can be pretty devastating. Oh, I missed one. I forgot to crap. I still got time to get it. Come on. This is why I like the cloak. Okay, someone else uh, filled the other one up, so that's good. This is not good. I don't worry about the transports until the very end. I try to get all these guys out. I'm not going to survive here. Here, let's move out of the way. If my ship was stronger, I would uh, attack these synth fighters. My main uh, character on my my paid account is uh, can rip through those uh, <laughs> those synthetics.
This one, though, no, not quite. That was actually a cool shot. <laughs> So all these transports are getting ready to leave and then we have to protect them as they as they make their way out. Okay. Now I can just go ahead and start uh, shooting. Okay, so these transports are going to be going to Beacon Alpha. And then there's a Beta and there's a Gamma. <clears throat> and the ships that we freed, they're going to be uh, coming around here and protecting them. As well, you know, as us, we are too. Me and my four friends here. They're almost out of there. Let's move over here.
but no one does. <laughs> they just keep attacking. We definitely got to get out of here. Okay. Okay, so here's our final score. We got 59 out of 70 transports. Battleships, 3 out of 5. Cruisers, we only saved 2 out of 10. Well, that sucks. Frigates, we only got 3 out of 15. So, I mean, some of them probably just got destroyed by the sense, even, even if once we got them loose. So, okay, we're not really ready to go over marks just yet. But for right now, I'm uh, collecting Gamma uh, Task Force uh, marks, and we'll get into that later as far as uh, what all that means. Congratulations, Commander. And now we're level 23, almost halfway through it. Okay, we are back here. We're gonna go ahead and open up some stuff here. We're not gonna worry about this just yet. We're gonna need some space. So let's go ahead and clear out some of this stuff here. Uh, some of this green stuff I can go ahead and click on salvage item. And what that's gonna do over here um, is give us components that we can use on something else so if you see your inventory getting too full uh, just start salvaging stuff <laughs> usually go for the green stuff first huh what that's for I wonder Got disruptor cannons. Got all kinds of stuff here. Um, we're not going to be really using any of that. All right, we got five uh, spots that are open. Uh, that's what we're going to need. And we'll go ahead and open up our events thing here. And we can go ahead and claim our reward. And they're all right there. So, and now. Um, for what little days are left, there's like a couple days left, uh, we can earn, uh, dilithium. And that's, that's not bad. <laughs> 8,000, uh, for, for, for one day. So, we can actually start, uh, earning that. And you can see here that there, uh, is bonuses. So you do it the first day, you get 8,000, second day, 9,000. So, uh, not bad. Uh, I don't know how you would do 42, because <laughs> the event wasn't that long. But uh, that dead lithium comes in handy when, um, when you want to get things. So, very, very cool. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have quite a few. We got a, quite a bit of uh, dilithium. Now, we can refine this. Uh, you have to refine it in order to be able to use it. And you can only do like uh, 8,000 a day. So just click on that. There's 8,000. And then um, 
every day we just go in and, and refine that and we'll be able to change this over to uh, store credits we can exchange it and then we can buy things from the store so lots of cool things that we can that we can do with that now the good stuff oh not yet okay so we're gonna have to open these up One of these we won't be able to use, and that's the Singularity. Uh, those would be good for, like, Romulan ships. Uh, but we can use this other stuff. So let's go over here. Go over here. And woohoo! Now we just go ahead and just double-click uh, this stuff, and it will automatically put it here on our ship. Boom! Now we got a full set right there. See that? And you can see uh, the type of stuff that we got. Looks like we got uh, House Mokai Science. We do what we must because we can. So there's like a weaponized mycelium emitter. So all kinds of cool things that we'll be able to play with the next time uh, we come online to do stuff. Oh! And since I've gone up in levels, I have more stuff that I can actually put onto the ship. It's opened up more things. So, uh, what else can we put up there? Looks like we can put a, another disruptor cannon right up here. We have room for another engineering console. Uh, looks like engine power setting. There's another one there. We have one here for photon. Uh, it increases the power of photon torpedoes. So that's not too bad of a thing. Um, let's go ahead and... That one's a level two. Oh, nope, that's right. We only got one of those. Okay, so we got that over there. We got some science consoles here. We can click on this. It makes it a little easier. Um, okay, so we have a console. Oh, that's already over there. Okay, so we got... This looks better. Stealth Mode Mark II. Well, we'll just go ahead and use that. Click on this for engineering consoles. Uh, let's see. Power setting, power setting, power setting. Let's just use this Mark III one here. We've got batteries and stuff that we can put on here. Shields batteries are usually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Weapons battery. Let's change this one here. And use engine batteries. Okay. That's all set. Ah. Harpang torpedo launcher. That could be useful. Those are pretty good torpedoes. They're not bad. We got some torpedoes here. Let's see. That's got... These work on the Doomsday Machine, too. Which we'll get to... Uh, we'll get to that also. <laughs> I got beams. Let's see. Oh, you know what? We could put the uh, photon torpedoes in the back. That would be a good idea. Alright, so it's back there. And in the front, um, we can get... How about some plasma dual heavy cannons up there on the front? Yeah. I think it's looking good. Um, we got some basic stuff. Oh, let's see if we can replace some of these beam arrays that are... here. Oh, that's in the front. Do I have anything better? Not really. <laughs> There's anti-proton beam. Standard issue. Let's change... Let's change this. 
Oh, I probably did the same thing. All right. Let's go to loadouts. We'll click save and save to our main there. And that's it. All right, so we'll go ahead and end things right here. And next time we jump in, we'll, we'll check out all this uh, cool stuff that we added in here. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this. And if so, click that like button. It really helps out. Share the video, all that good stuff. Subscribe and be a part of our killer community and click that notification bell to get notified of future science fiction content that is uploaded to the channel. Well, which we typically do every Sunday. Um, I also do some live streaming over on Twitch. And Sundays I also do the sci-fi fantasy Sunday stuff over there as well. Instagram for pictures and photos of projects that I work on behind the scenes. Twitter, that is your official source for killer news and announcements and retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Snapchat. Just some uh, fun stuff that we do with that, with, uh, you know, pictures and whatnot. And then a Patreon for those of you, if you like what it is that I do and you'd like to uh, help support the station, greatly appreciate it. There are some fantastic bonuses there. Um, exclusive videos, um, access to the Discord server. So go check that out. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of our science fiction journey. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a killer awesome day.